This is the hard and sad reality of Indian farmers and agriculture. The latest GDP figures show that agriculture is the one thing that kept our GDP up. During the pandemic and the lockdown crisis, agriculture is the only significant activity which has kept our economy alive. Farmers produce has made us food sufficient. Have we at all tried to recognize this, acknowledge it, and to pay farmers their due? All you get are these kinds of declarations. All you get grand policy declarations. Interstate migration will be removed. The Marketing Act will be changed. Essential Prices Commodities Act will be changed. What does it have to do with the current crisis? What does it have to do with the losses that farmers have suffered during the lockdown? Not one of the demand of farmers' movements and organizations has been addressed. Is that the way to treat our Anadata? We get to hear so many things about the farmers these days. New policies, new kinds of loans, new kinds of prices. And our impression is, all right, the government is doing something for the farmers and don't they deserve it? But is the government really doing something? Take the cabinet declarations, two declarations essentially. First is, the government says, new kinds of credit facilities to the farmers. Second, minimum support price for the farmers. Now the credit scheme is a very old scheme. Nothing has changed in the terms and conditions. The old Kisan credit card scheme is being re-advertised as if it's something new. The only new concession is that farmers can pay their outstanding loan by 31st of August. But mind you, they will still have to pay interest for delay. The one thing that the farmers wanted, that they should be compensated for the loss that they had, especially in perishable products, should be compensated, is not addressed. The one demand they had, that at least for these three months, interest should be waived has not been accepted, yet it's a bonanza. The second declaration is, of course, the MSP, minimum support price. Now, that is a minimum guaranteed, assured price from the government to the farmers, which is declared twice a year for Rabi and Kharif crop. That's a standard declaration. Every time the government presents it, as if it's a new historic thing that it has done, Every time, the prices go up a little. As salaries do, as inflation does, everything goes up. Every time the government presents the increase as something historic. Take a look at this increase, especially focus on paddy, because that's the largest crop of this particular season, curry, And that's the one crop the government actually purchases. Most others are MSP on paper. Last year, MSP for Paddy was increased from 1750 rupees to 1815. That's an increase of 3.7% last year. What's the increase this year? From 1815, they take it to 1868, a mere increase of 2.9%. Compare it to the increase of the last five years. This table shows the annual increase for the last five years for all the 14 commodities for which the cabinet has declared MSP. Now, for as many as five commodities, big ones, paddy, jwar, groundnut, sunflower, and soybean, this year was the lowest increase of the last five years. The increase, as you can see, in most commodities does not even cover inflation, the 6% annual inflation. So while nominally it's an increase, in real terms, the prices have gone down. And yet, it is presented as a bonanza. 